All right. Thank you all so very much for joining us yet again for Fantasy is Reality. Today, we're here talking about House of the Dragon, Episode 7, Driftmark. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've seen the episode maybe two times, well, two and a half. I've seen it two and a half times. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot. It's a lot to unpack. <laughs> In the past, what we did was we, we tried to follow the character. I don't, with this particular episode, I don't think that we can do that. So Elia and I, we talked about um, taking it um, by scenes, um, scenes that we think are, you know, worthy of our attention. Yes. So, and scene. Hi, guys. Let's just get right into it. So with this episode, we put the fun in funeral. Um, we open <laughs> with Lena's funeral. Um, as you said in the previous episode, you know, she kind of went out in a blaze of glory, literally, because rather than suffer um, through them trying to kill her um, in childbirth, she just had her dragon bag or just, just put her on fire and take her out. Yeah, <laughs> he's laughing. I'm serious. So uh, there is a lot happening at this funeral. Um, you have Lord Corliss's brother saying some words in their in their language, and he's like so funny. I don't know if it's intentionally funny, but, but it's really funny. Like he sounds about being pure as far as having the pure Valerian blood, <laughs> and he's saying like, "Hey, you know, your blood was so pure, like not diluted." Like it's like, wait a minute, what are we talking about? <laughs> so, um, oh, we know. So, <laughs> right. So, we you all Damon, you have Damon up there giggling. That's why I was like, yeah, put the fun in funeral. Because while he's throwing jabs, Damon just kind of laughed it off um, um, during well, the funeral. Well, I think the reason he did it, I don't think it was because he thought it was necessarily funny. I think it was because he didn't want, I, I don't think he wanted the attention placed where it was where it was being placed i think that was still like his way of showing affection for rhaenyra right but i say the fun and funeral because there was so many shenanigans happening too like and him laughing in the middle of him doing it is like all right <laughs> it's like oh my goodness okay so we have all of that going on you have the the house of targaryen and you have the valerians all there to put lady lena to rest. Um, in this scene, you see all the children, those that are pure and those that are questionable. Um, <laughs> those that are questionable. Um, what I found interesting in this in this scene is like you can still kind of see Rhaenyra eyeing Damon. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I knew he had the hots for him. I knew she still had the hots for him. So it's like they have barely just thrown his wife wife into the sea and you are just lurking and looking <laughs> for your uncle like and your lover <laughs> your lover just just died from fire <laughs> <Yes. laughs> see and what when we look see and fire look at it <laughs> look at it <laughs> <laughs> right so there's a bunch of things happening with this within this entire scene you have you have the backhanded comments. You have um, Hightower, who's come back into play um, since the previous hand is, is is no longer because he and his son both perish in a fire by the hands of Clubfoot, you know, his minions that he sent out. So there's just a miscellany of things happening in this one Ooh, that's an SAT word, miscellany. What, what <laughs> a miscellany? What, what, what is miscellany? Yeah, okay. yeah. Look, I, I went for the root word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's absolutely what it is. Like a bunch of <laughs> random shit happening okay. in this one scene. So let me take a beat and get your thoughts. Um, like no, around. <laughs> I thought I thought that was a a perfect uh, a prelude to the entire episode because it set up the episode <clears throat> because we were able to see all the different things that were happening between all of the different characters and how they uh, related to each other. Um, I also what I 
a, you know, I like the soft stuff too. I saw the king trying to reconcile with Damon. Yeah. Damon was like, nah, buddy, I don't yeah. need you. Right. <laughs> Come back home. I don't need to be at court. I'm good where I am. Right. You know, <laughs> in true Damon form, like, please don't try to offer me anything because the last person you sent to try to help me, you saw how that went. <laughs> you know, you had to get your daughter down here to talk me out of killing everybody that came over here. <laughs> but um, yes, yes. So Viserys literally, genuinely loves his brother. Yes. And, yes. and and we see it time and time again. And I don't think it's it's an absence of love um, from Damon. I think he loves his brother too. It's just he's a second hurt. born. Yeah, he's well, he's still hurt. He's a second born, hot headed, you know, and he just he has to be him. And in Damon fashion, it's just kind of I'm gonna brush you off. I might be hurting, but I'll never let you see it. So there's that. Agree. But um, I do want to say this. Um, something that I noted in this particular episode. So, like, if uh, if a, if a husband is if a husband's wife has died, I would expect a whole lot of people to be around him, always wanting to talk to him, always trying to find out how he's doing. But we don't see that in this episode. In fact, we don't see too many people talking to him at all. In fact, the only person that I saw talking to him openly was Viserys. Right. What's that about? And I honestly feel like it's just his character. I don't think that people really just fool with Damon like that. Damon has done a lot of things to people and just his, his demeanor. So even though it's a funeral, you know, I just don't think they're rocking with him like that. I just don't. It's true. It's true. It's true. However, um, there was one. Um, it was a throwaway line. Rhaenyra said, you know, I think you missed my... Not Rhaenyra. No, it was uh, Lena. Lena said in the previous episode, she was like, I think you missed my brother too. Which tells me that there was a relationship that the two of them had. Um, and it could be like the relationship that... Damon kind of has with Laura Corliss that one of respect from strength. That's what you I was know. Going. That's exactly yeah. what I was going on. Yeah. And if there's anything that we know about Lena, is like he's Elena, uh, excuse me, is that he, he excuse the pun, he ain't no punk. <laughs> no, no, he is most certainly not. Um, please put him on my side any day um, in a battle. Uh, so yeah, I agree with you. Definitely, I think a, a, a mutual respect because of strength. So, um, but yeah, that was a good point. People were kind of standoffish when fooling with him. They were consoling the children, of course. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They're like, Damon can fend, fend for himself. He'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, he did have this, Damon had this one liner too. Like, um, and I, I don't want to misquote him. But in passing to Hightower, he's like uh, referring to him as a leech. A like leech. the leech is, yeah, a leech is never full, basically. Yeah. Even like, though a leech is fat, he's never full. <laughs> right. So I'm like, it's like, it's it's moments like that to where I'm like, Viserys, I really kind of wish you could have your brother, you know, at your side because he is the one person that could really see Hightower for who he truly is and his true intentions. But Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra too, though. Yes, yes. Excuse me. You are right. You are right. But he he calls him out openly. <laughs> like this is, mm -hmm. this is true. This is true. Like, she plays the game as she should. Given and she's station. a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a woman, and and he's a man, and you know. I really just don't see how Tower being able to take Damon anyway. So under any circumstance. I mean, I don't think he could take <laughs> Rhaenyra. He can't take Rhaenyra. <laughs> I mean, she bested him with the, with Damon. She be, she bested him with Damon. <laughs> oh yeah. That uh that definitely stood out um in this episode to where he's you know, even though High Tower has returned, he's not earned any respect from Damon, he's still looking at him like no. I'm still on it. and she was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, I, he was 
tripping. <laughs> like you came up with this grand idea. Please stop pitching ideas because you just <laughs> foolish. It's foolish. So speaking of power, let's talk about uh Aegon. I keep calling him Aegon. Excuse me. Aemon? The brother Aemon. Yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes. 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 Aemon. So he seized his opportunity. Like he like, well, first he heard he heard the call of the dragon. He heard the call of the dragon and he got it in his head. He was like, I'm I'm assuming it was the call that made him say, hmm. He wanted to investigate. He went, he investigated, he saw what what was the name of the is it Crixus? <laughs> no. <laughs> I get him confused. The, the dragon? Yeah. Vagar. Vagar. All right, so <laughs> Chris, I swear I get that from. <laughs> so Vagar um, sees Vagar, and of course, you know, <laughs> Vagar sees him, and I guess Vagar is like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to take a nap. What are you doing? <laughs> Which, you know, like, I, you know, I, I guess Vagar was like, I could burn you, but I might end up burning me too. So I'm like, <laughs> well, I could burn you, but that's going to require energy. And I'm trying to take right. a nap. Right, right. <laughs> and so he tries again. And this time, you know, his, his, oh, I end up being vulgar all the time. And I got to stop myself because I was about to say they fell. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they dropped down real low. He was ready. It's okay. You don't have to be vulgar. I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know he gave he gave those little commands, and he he started climbing on up, started climbing on up. And I guess Vagar was like, "Okay, all right, you want this ride? <laughs> Let me see. Can you handle this? <laughs> Can you handle this? Okay, okay." And he did. He did, he did. and he started all out anarchy when he did that. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. So going back to the previous episode when we were talking about uh, Helena. Yeah. <laughs> so this time I was paying attention to what she was saying. Paying attention to what she was saying. So it it, it doesn't directly relate to what we're what we're talking about right now. However, it it made me remember um, that we needed to we needed to talk about her. So she uh she said what did she say? She said the hand um spins the wool. Is that what she said? I don't remember what she said exactly there. Basically, what she what she was telling me, or what I'm assuming she means, is that the hand, meaning um, um, Allison's father, is going to start being a puppeteer mm-hmm. of people. So I think that's what we're gonna we're, what we're gonna see next. I think. Don't I love know. it. I love it. We uh. We kind of talk, we talked about Helena in a previous episode and and our assumptions about her being clairvoyant. So since we were speaking of Amund, <laughs> once he takes control of Agar, he really, really starts an all-out brawl between mm-hmm. um, the princess Lena's children that 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 have survived her. Mm-hmm. So. You know, one of the daughters doesn't have a dragon, and she was concerned about not having one and had that conversation with her mother. So she was thinking, I'm guessing, hey, maybe Vagar could be mine, you know, one day or whatever. Mm-hmm. Eamon takes it, and it pisses everybody off. The cousins are mad. <laughs> They're really, really upset. So the children start fighting. They what? start fighting. But can I say what I thought was touching was the fact that um, these cousins, they're they're cousins in in two ways, right? They're cousins in two ways. Well, really one, but they're cousins. (laughs) But one and a possible. (laughs) I I think that that was that was a bit of foreshadowing. Again, I've never read the books. I have no way of knowing anything. But what I see happening, what I'm assuming is going to happen, is that those two houses, House House Valerian and House Targaryen, are going to become close because they have a lot of ties together, in a lot of different ways. I think um, the 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 daughters. I think they recognized 
in in I don't remember his name, the the king to be. I think they recognized that he was trying to be close and was trying to console, which is why her hand went out to his. And yeah. which is part of the reason why he also defended them against yeah. Amon. <clears throat> and I and, think and, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You go. I was about to say initially I saw Amon as, you know, less temperamental than his elder brother that we said kind of reminded us of Damon. But now we see an entirely different side of Eamon. Eamon comes in like really brazen, unapologetic, violent even. You know, he starts this 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 quarrel, you know, mm -hmm. by doing what he did and he just doesn't care. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just seeing him in that particular scene, it was like, okay, so you really, really are feeling yourself. Mm -hmm. So... I'm just interested to see where this is going to go as far as Eamon's concerned. Like, what else are you going to get into <laughs> now that you've got yourself a, or acquired yourself a little dragon? Mm -hmm. How are you mm -hmm. going to um, behave? Mm -hmm. so, I, just, I, like, I just want to say that, you know, I'm, I'm watching a lot of television shows and there are a lot of books that I need to read. Um, I just read, you know, not this show, but I just read Anne Rice's. <laughs> it was the first time that I've ever read it, right? I watched the movie again. I, I'm, I watched the first episode <laughs> of, uh, uh, of Interview Andy. with the Vampire. Um, and I'm now I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. <laughs> I want the backstory. I want to know the backstory before I see it. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I do. I just... I do. There's just so much more that you can put in a book. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know yeah. television is going to miss miss some things, but so far, I'm really pleased with what they're doing with this particular show. I haven't seen any of Interview with the Vampire yet, but that's okay. It's coming soon, yeah. but that'll be another show, guys. Yeah, show. yeah. <laughs> Fantasy is reality. Fantasy yeah. is reality. <laughs> hey, so it, I'm going to quote Lewis, Lewis Carroll, and then we're going to get back on target. He says that imagination is the only weapon in a war against reality. And that's one of my favorite Lewis uh, Carroll quotes. I even have it on my uh, my work email <laughs> okay. with my signature. So, yes, I am like a firm believer in it. So, yes, fantasy is reality. Okay. Yeah, a great escape. Mm -hmm. But uh, so in this fight, <laughs> in this fight, Amen loses an eye <laughs> he gets he gets stabbed and loses an eye so in the previous episode and like i mentioned in the last episode if you go at about 18 minutes and 50 seconds in you'll see that conversation that helena is having pretty much to herself yeah. <laughs> and she says uh whenever the brother's like i want a dragon and the mom's like you'll get one one day and she was like she's like he'll have to close an eye you know, uh -huh. and she just set a plan uh -huh. with the plug, and here we go. Uh -huh. Episode seven. This boy loses an eye fighting uh -huh. with his cousin. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so in, in order for him to basically in order for him to get the dragon, he had to lose his eye. Yes, it is. Basically. Is. So now he's one eye aiming. But uh <laughs> <laughs> so let's get let's can we move forward to how Viserys kind of handles this this quarrel versus how uh, Queen Allison handles this quarrel? Oh, in the hall, yes. Let's do yes. it. Let's get there. Yes, <laughs> it's just so you. It's so juicy. It's so mm -hmm. yummy. Like it's 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 positively arousing how it they really string, they string these things together. <laughs> so. <laughs> your thoughts, your thoughts. Because I, I realize I'm like just no. Uh, so without getting into the details, I, I'll leave that to you because I think you do a, a good job with it. Um, <clears throat> I thought in general, um, I thought that the way that they wove everything together, I thought um, even even some even some of Viserys's lines were it 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 moved us from what could be the possibility and. In, instead of possibilities, it was, no, this. 
<clears throat> so I thought that the um, I thought that the writing was was crisp. I thought that it was sharp. I thought that um, it moved us along. Um, in terms of the acting, let me tell you, <clears throat> no music, no, no no people whispering in the background. Everybody was just. <laughs> <laughs> which added to the which added to everything it was it was like no one existed even though everyone was there and everyone could see no one existed except for that family and it was so powerful it was so moving it was so real in a yeah. sense you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> that's those are my you know 5000 feet thoughts <laughs> so so in in this scene, we have the the families that are all the same family, but family within family in the same scene. And Allison is livid because her son has lost an eye. King Viserys, the all out diplomat, <laughs> is like, wait, <laughs> what has happened? Let's 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 find out and. You know, he kind of kind of blames it on on the elder brother Aegon. Like, okay, well, where were you when all of this was happening? <laughs> you know, um, well, Allison, have, that's how that that was Allison in the beginning. That's true because she's mm -hmm. always in her son's. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to curse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always on his 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 behind him doing little things. But mm -hmm. at any rate, um, Rhaenyra is like. My kid's bastard, or whatever. Which for Viserys, it's like, where where did this come from? You know, he's you know upset, mm -hmm. and you have Allison kind of getting irritated with her husband. Like, here we go again. Like he's taking her side again. Like our son has lost an eye, and you are still worried about Rhaenyra. So the the all out banter, guys. You just have to watch it. I don't want to recap the entire scene but suffice it to say things get really ugly really nasty and someone gets cut <laughs> in this scene so so for me i was I, I understood where the king was coming from and just just work with me for a second the reason i understood was okay so in his mind his daughter is going to succeed him okay. and also in his mind her, her son is going to succeed her. They are the ones that must be protected. Not his son, not Allison, none of them, mm -hmm. right? Allison hasn't gotten it into her head just yet that they're not important yet, right? They got to wait till he dies <laughs> before they can do something. Right. They can plant some seeds, but mm, know your place, know your role. And that wasn't her role. I think she was overstepping. All right. And for me, it's kind of a little bit of karma for Allison, because it's like you played the innocent role, but you and your father pretty much orchestrated this entire marriage, you know, to the king. So there was not you weren't doing it just for love. You know, there was a very clear reason why. You all moved the way that you did. So, um, yeah, ultimately someone gets cut <laughs> in this scene and it's, everything just kind of blows up. Uh, it's really, really chaotic and crazy. And like you said, very still at the same time. Well, th th this was the bold moment for me. The bold moment was when Rhaenyra was like, they're basically doubting the the legitimacy of, <laughs> what of my fight? heirs. What a straight fight. <clears throat> and it was a bold statement for her. And did you see the hand? He he kind of came out from the from the shadows. He was like, mm, 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 you said what? <laughs> Is it all about to come out? <laughs> right. Um, and, <clears throat> and so her boldness is part of what saved her, saved them, right? Because you know. Obviously, everything would have swirled. Um, I think in the end, that was going to happen. But had she not been bold, she might have been on on the losing end of of everything. And so the fact that she was bold and she was willing to basically what she was she was calling everyone's bluff. Say it. Yeah. 
almost and 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 for me it was like i thought it was ingenious because basically what she said was just by just by doing this just by doing this this is treasonous right and so it could have backfired on allison yes it could and have. she has her father full support he is doubling down <laughs> and amon amon looked at his mom like you know you said it this. was you right you. you know you but in, but in this moment, you're my mom, and so I'm going to protect you, and I'm going to say it's Aegon. And I don't think he's going to do anything to Aegon because he never does anything to Aegon. So, <laughs> so he says Aegon. And, and you remember in that moment, Aegon was just like, me? <laughs> <laughs> I said this? <laughs> what? And then it's like, well, you know what? Everybody's talking about it. So, you know. <laughs> but ultimately, nothing comes of that Viserys still sides with Rhaenyra and basically tells Alicent, like he always does, I don't want to hear any more of this. Let it go. <laughs> and yeah. But but she wasn't feeling it. So she lunged for uh for Viserys's um little dagger or whatever and is is running towards um I don't know who I, I'm assuming it was it was uh Rhaenyra's kids. Why she thought no one would stop her. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, she, but Ren she felt like okay, uh -huh. my son lost an eye, so I for an eye, I, I'll have one of her son's eye. <laughs> Wait, what? And, and trust and believe, I understand where she's coming from. I really, really do. I really, really do. It's like Allison, who finna stand by and watch you cut out this boy eye? She like Kristen? <laughs> but look, check this out. If Rainier wanted to hurt her, I really think that Rainier could have. She showed restraint. And to her avail. You know, just go ahead and let Alice Allison look mad. Let her look mad. I'm gonna stand here. I'm I am to be queen. I am gonna stand here as if I have been a victim. The question of my kids' parentage is 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 brought to the forefront. This is high treason, and and we, and we all know it was you. We all know it was you. <laughs> That's it. So that was a really big power play mm -hmm. by Renee. It really, really mm -hmm. was because she absolutely mm -hmm. succeeded in making Allison look crazy. <laughs> and and check this out. So and you you mentioned it um a few moments ago when uh, Allison was calling for Sir Kristen. Um, <laughs> Sir Kristen uh, did come, uh, and who stopped Sir Kristen? Wait a minute. Do you remember who stopped? Who stopped Sir Kristen? It was Damon. Oh, how how yummy! Yes, yes, he did. Like, hold on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you don't touch my future stature. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that was boss too. Um, because I, because the entire time Damon is peeping, peeping the hose, but hold on, wait a minute. We didn't talk about this. Nope. They're coming from the scene from the beach. <laughs> she's looking all disheveled <laughs> and no one even stops to think the two of y'all coming in together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so basically they finally, finally, <laughs> right. Consummated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a love making scene. I wasn't, you know, wasn't too pleased with that, but that's okay. Um, well, I mean, you know, it was their first time. It was, you know, they were, you know, they were trying to, you yeah. know, fill each other out. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was love. <laughs> they were making love. Come on now. Yeah, I know. Love. It's a me thing, you know. It was just like, you know, I just. Just think about what I've said about Sir Kristen in the past, and then you'll understand why I'm feeling like the scene could have been better. I wanted more, but that's that's a me thing. That still good writing, great writing. Actually, I think it was it was lovely, but for me, you know, I'm greedy, insatiable, even wanted more. But that's okay, so but I'm glad that they finally, finally <laughs> did, did the do <laughs> <laughs> unleash the dragon. You know. <laughs> Unleash the dragon. <laughs> yes, they did finally. <laughs> Says Cisco. <laughs> Unleash the dragon. <laughs>
So, yeah. So, I think um, that's a, a good segue. Into, oh, good segue uh, for? Into my questions. Oh, or are okay. we not there yet? Are we not there yet? Uh, go go for it. Um, so, ultimately, um, Damon and Rhaenyra wed in this episode. Um, yeah. Which I thought was absolutely delicious. Um, um, so I'm curious to know what is going to happen now that you have these two forces that have joined as one. Like, what is going to happen? How is this going to play out for the children? Um, just, 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 what are things going to be like now that they are finally married? So I'm just curious to know where that's going to go. What is going to mean? Oh. Uh, well, um, I do agree with Rhaenyra's estimation of the situation. People are going to be far less likely to want to challenge her claim um, with, with Damon by her side. He just brings some strength to the situation, um, some, some inner fortitude. <laughs> <you know. laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, and I do think because of his longstanding relationship with uh, with Corliss and the Valerians um, <clears throat> and the fact that he really wants to see his name on the throne, he doesn't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he just wants to see his name on the throne. So I think he is willing to I think he will be willing to side with uh, with uh, with Rhaenyra and Damon. That's that, that that's my thought. On the matter, not having read the books. I honestly think it's it's an absolutely genius marriage. Like, like I'm just interested to see where this goes because, like, what better fit for Damon than Rhaenyra? They're made for each other. They're made they are- for each other. But I do think that you uh, you said two people who are who are the same. Uh uh-uh. uh 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 <laughs> uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> they both gonna be cheating on each other before it's over with. <laughs> it' gonna be okay with it. They're gonna be okay with it. <laughs> Fussing and fighting about who who the other one's sleeping with, and then have sex with each other. <laughs> right, so literally, and, and comparing dragons and shit. You know, like, <laughs> my dragon is bigger than you. <laughs> well, my dragon is faster than you. <laughs> right, right. I'm wondering if she's gonna bear his children, like. I wonder. I wonder. Because at this point, she's still young. You know, she obviously just gave birth <laughs> to the kids, so she fertile. Now that that family tree is gonna be, whew, Lord yeah. Jesus, <laughs> it's a it, it's a swirl of a tree. <laughs> I just. I mm. would be surprised if she pushed a dragon egg right on out if her and Damon have a kid. Don't come out as an egg. Yeah. But you know, I wonder if if they will produce the Mad King. Mm. I don't know. 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 I just, you know, I just I know that the Mad King is coming soon, right? Well, not soon, but soon enough. Um, and so it's a possibility. You never know. You never know. I mean, because, you know, uncle, niece, Mad. bloodline's a little too close. Well, shit, they were trying to marry her to her brother. There was two at the time. <laughs> true, true, true. Um, I feel like that. I feel like oh, we're missing some things. Okay, so um, so Carlos and Rhaenyris had a conversation in um, the same hall that we're talking about. I don't know um, where it was in the timeline of this particular episode, um, but basically, um, Rhaenyris is like, "Look, <laughs> you know the deal. I know the deal. Those are not our grandkids. I want, um, I want Lena's." kids to have you know the title or the deeds or whatever you want to call it um to driftmark i'll tell you where and, it is in the, in the show it's after 
I want to say it's after Lenor is killed. Really? No. No, 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 no. I think it's before he's killed. It's before he's killed. <clears throat> yeah, it's before yeah, he's killed. Was, that whole scene was a little too calm. You're right. That was yeah. at, more towards the end. You're right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, that whole thing. Um, you know, she, uh, Rhaenyra has this conversation with, um, with, uh, with, uh, Lenor and, you know, he's just like, he's, he's, he, he wants to try again. You know, he, he wants to start over. He wants to really love her kids. Um, like it's his, um, just showing himself to be the best type of man given the situation. Um, and, and so she kind of looks at him like, that should for sale, baby, literally. That's, <laughs> no, that's not, she, it just as much as it says, that's not for us. No. It, it has, but that might have changed her plan. It might have. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she was going to kill him, but because he said what he said, maybe she was looking at him differently. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, like, you never know. That's a fair point. That is a fair point. I don't know. I don't know if I see her killing Lenore. You know, I don't know. I don't know, but that is a, a good question. Something to find. You know, I'm so used to Game of Thrones. Somebody's got to be killed. It's, it's, several, it's, several, several somebody's without batting a lash. Children, <laughs> adults, wolves, it don't matter. <laughs> Anybody can go. Anybody can go. What would you say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Anybody can go. Literally. Anybody. <laughs> you can get it too. Yeah, anybody can get it. <laughs> Your entire sire line, if y'all can all go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, I, I I really enjoyed this particular episode. I think I um on Facebook I was like, this was the best episode of all episodes ever created <laughs> in, in, since the beginning of television. It was better than all movies too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I couldn't wait to text. I was like, man, because you know, of course, I'm off of Facebook for a while. Oh, I'm like, who? Okay, okay, best episode ever. Like. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, oh my goodness. Shout out to the writers because this was great television. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think I got bored, not one moment in that entire episode. And it was a little, just a little bit longer minute wise than the rest of the episodes. It seemed like it just went by so fast. Like, oh my goodness. Like, it's over already. Like, I got to watch this again, you know? So, yeah. Give me a bowl of cereal and start from the beginning. Like good television. Yeah, I really like. I I don't know if if it was on the last episode. Or I don't remember exactly when I said it, but basically, it was the level of political intrigue about this particular episode that really had, really had my attention. Um, anytime that you add political intrigue, yeah, we <clears throat> you can you can show people fighting, you can show people being killed. Yeah, I'm like I'm into it, but beyond that moment, I'm gonna forget about it, right? Seen it a hundred a hundred thousand times. But the political intrigue of it, that takes number one, <clears throat> that takes great writing. That takes a whole lot of us having a sense of who these characters are mm -hmm. so that the interplay seems and feels real, right? Yeah. And so the way in which people acted and reacted it all seemed real. We were lost in the moment. And so that's why I like I, I really love this particular episode. They did a really good job with it. Yes. I, I thought it was astonishing. So I won't bear wasting your time by asking you to rate this episode from one to ten. <laughs> Baby, it's got to be a 10 all the way, all the way. It is a 10. It gave me everything. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me find it. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me make certain. Let's, let's do this. Look, I always like a good 10. Oh, that's a good. background. What is that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Plot. Yep, yep, had it. Attract the premise, the entertainment value. Yes, baby. 
theme, message <laughs> conveyed, intrigue, baby, acting, dialogue, cinemat <laughs> cinematography, editing and effect sound and music. The fact that there was no sound in certain points, oh, had me directing the vision and execution, the it factor. Look, come on now. Hey, it's it. It was the it. That's it. <laughs> what was yours? <laughs> Say it again. What was yours? How would you rate it? Oh my goodness. I, I texted about it as soon as it was over. <laughs> it was a 10 in every language means. Okay. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> in high Valerian too, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. I gotta whenever I learn out how to say 10 in high Valerian, <laughs> believe me, it, it will be said. I was absolutely okay. enamored, captivated. <laughs> All those wonderful four dollar words, yeah, <laughs> great episode. SAT words. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you for for putting that back up because you are, as they say, you you learning me. You're not teaching me. You learning me. You learning. Me. <laughs> no, these are mine. These are mine. These are these are mine. I'm certain other other people have you know their own, but that's what I look for. That's what gets me going. You know what I'm saying. Okay, get you going. <laughs> like Damon on a beach <laughs> with his niece. And it was going all in the sand with your no Kendrick. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> like it wasn't nobody's business. You know, for a second, I'll say this because I know we're, we're coming to a close. But that scene with them having that, that mediocre love making. Um, was reminiscent of Cersei <laughs> and uh, Lannister getting it in when they were yeah. caught. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. When they were caught. So um, mm -hmm. in that scene where Prince uh, Aemon was out there, you know, chasing the dragon, I was like, wait a minute, is he going to yeah. find them on the beach? So it was kind of reminiscent of that for me. But yeah. yeah. I, I did <laughs> think that that, that was going to happen, but. Oh, what would have happened? <laughs> they would have killed him. Would they have drowned him? You know, <laughs> they would have killed him. I really do believe that they would have killed him, especially I Damon. <laughs> they would have killed him, especially Damon. <laughs> yeah, that's so. Yes, ten out of ten for me. Ten out of ten. Perfect. Ten. Tens across the board. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, baby. <laughs> yes. I got way too excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> From the house of Bargarian. <laughs> we have Damon and the Princess. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that about covers it. I mean, I'm certain there's so much more that we could have talked about, but um, we'll save it till next time. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. If you haven't seen it or been spoiled enough by what we've said, please go and watch it. Go and watch it. Go and watch it. <laughs> All right. Also, you know, don't forget about checking us out. Um, watch some of our other episodes um, of Fantasy is Reality. We're covering lots of different shows and episodes. So until next time, see you.